Well, hi everybody, this is Bob Olson once again. Hey, guess what? We're going to go to the Western Grands. That's the Western Grands in Monroe, Washington. Wow, what an amazing setup these guys did. This was a huge event. We had people coming from all over the United States and Canada. And this just gives you just a sample of how far they had to drive. Pretty amazing stuff. Okay, these pictures here are the start of Frosé Racing. That is the Fry family, the Olsen family, and the AC family all met up down at the park and ride and we started decorating our trailers and our motorhomes and had so much fun doing this. I mean, we got pretty creative. I mean, really put some effort into it. Some racing flags and everything. Well, once we got done decorating all these trailers, it was about time to start hitting the road. So we packed up our stuff, got in our motorhomes and our trailers and started heading down the road on our way to Monroe, Washington. I'll tell you, it was so much fun on the freeway. Okay, so this is the beginning. We're just pulling into the parking lot of this gigantic event. Can you feel it building? So many people. This area you see here is where the motorhomes park. This area is where the race trailers got to park. So they had us all over this gigantic facility. This is where the Monroe Raceway for the big cars are and the quarter midget racetrack is. This is a gigantic facility, beautiful facility in Monroe, Washington. And this is just a few of the pictures. You'll see more in future videos. This is kind of like the intro of what was to come. First day, people just kind of get all set up, start getting their stuff out, maybe working on their cars, getting their campsite set up, and just kind of having a relaxed day. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? Look at all those motorhomes. It's just mind-blowing. They packed us in there pretty tight. And the people that set up this, this event, they really put a lot of thought into setting it up. So there was a big section for dry camping, and that's what we elected to do. But the other sections were set up with power, and you'll see that in a few couple, few pictures down the road here. So we're setting up little ice cones for the grandkids. This is our area, clear at the other end of the park. Those buildings behind us, that's where the big guys race. And this is our full safe families here. This is part of the AC family. And there's Vicky. They're getting ready to paint some rocks. Rock painting became a big thing. A lot of people had a lot of fun with that. And we'd like to hide the rocks for the kids to find and then we replant them out the next race weekend or the next race day. So you can see we had swimming pools there to keep the kids cool because it was a hot day. It was really, all, all, the whole week was just in the 90s. And the kids had a blast with those little wading pools. And there's Kylie. And as you can see, we even got fancy and brought our home barbecues. This is the big generators that they set up the power. And see these power boxes straddled between the two rows of motorhomes? That's where they got their power. They also had big septic trucks come out to empty the gray and black water. That was really cool. A lot of great thoughts, a lot of, a lot of 
planning for this event. So this is only a guess. There was between three and four hundred. So we'll just break, split the difference. We'll say 350 people racing at this event. That's a pretty big event. So okay, so this is our campsite in Monroe. I'm on a motorcycle, so this might get a little bit bumpy here. Kind of got his pack in here pretty tight, I guess. There's Vicky over there. Let's see, once I get past these uh, this, uh, game obstacles we have here, this is cornhole with the bean bags, and I don't know what they call this with these little rods and stuff. Okay, we're kind of safe. Oops, a little bouncy there, huh? Let's see if we can get moving here and cut out some of the bounce. Alright, so we're rolling down the ways here. Try to cut out so much fun. Alright, moving quite fast now. A little over 300 cars can be racing here this week. Western Grands in Monroe. And getting ready to come up to the road here. A lot of people walking. Alright, we're on smooth ground. There's the Deavers. Wave, I'm taking a video. Okay, this is where everybody's going to be racing over there. You'll get this video or picture it later. Okay, going over here, you can see the big cruiser truck it has 6,000 uh, racing cars. You can't start buying until uh, I think Tuesday. Okay, now we're going to go into what they call Trailer Alley. There's a bunch of racers there waving. Hi. This is called the, uh, uh, the VIP area where people that actually build race cars set up their things in the van. There's Randy. And there's some more race trailers. There's the tower where the judges and they working all the time for racing. Little play area. I guess I'll try to slow it down. So you've seen where we were parked way up there. We're parked way back here. They're expecting a bunch more car trailers, so uh, they saved a little bit of room for the people coming throughout the day today. This is where we're parked, way in the back. There's AC's trailer, my trailer, David's trailer, and then that's the Fry trailer. And then we get over here to the Wolf trailer, Rice team, all the different people. Coming back around, Pittman Racing, they were cool people. When we first started racing, they helped us a lot. These guys over here, they're from Yakima, Portland, Oregon, um, Elma, Washington. There's, there's Brenda at G&G Speed. There's people up at the racetrack again. That's where we'll be racing. Go. Try to give you a little bit of a flavor of the people. Wave, there we go. You can see all the race cars up there. There's a few. I'm gonna guess probably 50 to 100. All right. Maybe a few more than that. 
for racing. And that's the Pfizer group. They're the ones where we have our race cars from. Came all the way from Colorado, Denver, Colorado. We're gonna make a quick turn here. Uh-oh. up on the McBrooms, they're really good people. Sorry for the bumps. See if I can do this without crashing. Oh! Hi, Mr. Olson, how are you? Best day of my life, say hi, hi Zach. You're on TV, <laughs> here locally. Well, <laughs> there's another end to another great video. Hey, I'm sorry, there's so much more to share about this, and we're going to share more videos with you. But I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you at the next video. Have a great day. Take care.